Hello everyone and um, I got asked to see what my lifestyle is and I'd say I intended today on a Friday to start it, running late. Um, but what I didn't realise is I'm going to be running even more late today because basically I live in Primrose Hill which is north of Regent's Park and I go to the mosque in Regent's Park which is on the east side of Regent's Park. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you in a second. Trump's taking over the park, man. I gotta walk around the, my own park. Thanks. Okay, so normally I would uh, walk past over the bridge onto Regent's Park, follow it around, and I'll come through the back entrance of Regent's Park, slip in through the courtyard. This week I'm gonna have to take the main road. Just to give information, normally on a Friday I don't eat breakfast because the idea is that I'll munch afterwards. Um, hold up, there's a bunch of... Hold that thought. I think Trump's coming past. Okay, so there's all these motorcycles going ahead and whisking everyone to stop moving. Like you see like these ones. That's a four, five, fifth one. And they are viciously whisking at people in the entering of the park. Um, so I don't know if the park's about to be tangoed. Anyways, before I was really interrupted by those motorcycles, I don't have breakfast on a Friday. I tried to eat after Jumma. I don't know where it started, but I think after a while it just became about having that munch after Jumma. And it seems to have just stuck as a habit now. Try not to do anything on a Friday, try not to eat after Jumma. I mean, the worst one you gotta work on a Jumma and eat and pray at all the same time. I mean, to be honest, I think it's a male Muslim thing because I don't think necessarily Muslims understand the issue about Jummah or having to take a job and first thing you have to bring up is not any pre-done holidays or anything like that. It's just like, yeah, when you talk about Fridays, I might need extra time for lunch or I might not be able to work a shift in the morning or, you know, there's so many things that has to be discussed. Look, another entrance to the park shop. I'm going to have to keep walking around. This is long. Donald is quite inconsiderate. Get your own place. Anyways, it's been good two, three minutes. There's motorbikes whistling, stopping traffic. Nothing's come through, you know. Disappointed. Thought I was going to get a glimpse of the old orange. Anyways, I'm nearly at the mosque now, so no sign of Trump. And I'm gonna put my phone away and put it on airplane mode. Oh look, Popo. Hey. Uh, not much, anyways, catch you guys after. Hey guys, Juma's done, and I wanted to say, have if you guys have been to Regent's Park Mosque, which I, I got all of you guys to be behind me and around me, have you guys actually been inside this exhibition yet? I think the biggest thing I find is that people are standing on it and actually admire it from the outside, but still haven't actually gone inside and had a look properly. And I think that's a, it's a missed feature there. A lot of people just want to put, put their shoes on, admire it, take a couple of pictures, but they're missing the beat on the inside. But how many of us are doing that anyways? Anyone that wants to know, my favorite spot at Juma is right over there, all this area. You get a good sun, you get a good view, it'd be popping. Okay, so Juma's over and Around the back of Juma is basically this little pond, there's the lake, you can hire out boats, you can have an ice cream. Um, but what's great for all the children is this playground. But yo, Issa, that is not a playground. So yeah, so basically there's an American property thing behind it and for his visit, they seem to have uh, extended the fence on this side. You can see it, look, it goes all the way around. There's cops everywhere. There's even cops on the bridge. Hey, look at that. I'm gonna cross the bridge to see if they'll stay in the background. 
So, love the view of Regent's Park. What's your main area then? Nothing in park, so. Oh, right. what, what? I feel like I'm. Oh, even the toilets are blocked up. Man. Yes, yeah, so even the toilets are locked up. Um, so I'm a little bit just taken away to how, okay, I hate to say this, but not even Bush, not even for Bush did they do this, I don't, bruh, Obama didn't do anything, there was not this kind of hoo-ha, for Bush there wasn't this hoo-ha, I mean I think, I think, I think Trump's um, petition was the highest amount that British people have ever gone to not do a state visit like he's really disliked i mean michelle obama came to a local female secondary school and like met up with children and stuff walked amongst people so i kind of sound having securities but are you really the leader of the free world when when you have to go for this much effort to have your personal safety and freedom like wow this is some Israeli Palestine border thing. They got their clubs out, everything. I've never seen much, so much police in this part before. Where's all this police when people are getting stabbed around London? Rah. And this is just a park with a mosque next door. I think this is someone more appropriate for him to stay. Okay, so like the whole park's a little bit. I don't know, I didn't expect to run into this dump Trump stuff down here. Um, I guess that's the American property and they can do what they like. I um, still didn't expect it to be right on my doorstep. Hi, so I'm back home and it's started raining like crazy. I'd like to make a few points um, while it's raining like mad. Essentially, Trump is protested because he doesn't care about people, he's separating children and mothers and parents from, uh, from each other at the border, he's only thinking about business for America, but the only thing I'll say on that is that he's actually doing what America is meant to do, he's actually got the American interest at heart. So when you do protest Trump, do remember that we have our own systems all around the world which don't necessarily have human rights, that have a better world mentality, no one's actually trying to make things better. So that's one point I want to keep in mind. Secondly, we had a high amount of people petitioning for him not to come. Our government still invited him over. Our government still put in police out ever, get them working overtime to give him extra security, yet they can't provide that security for children getting stabbed in the streets. So that's something to consider. Also, there's two sides of it. People that don't want to engage and then there's people who just only vote and that's their only form of change. Really, we need to be talking about this sort of stuff, having discourse, doing talks, we need to be lobbying, we need to be actually out there engaging in this context because to be honest, the world ain't right and we need a better world. Uh, since it is um, raining, uh, I just like I just pray that we have a better world man and that we can actually unite and help ourselves to live in a better world for our lives and our families and everyone's well-being and um, yeah. Peace and love everyone, subscribe.